Hello everyone, this is Laura speaking. This is just a short video on how to go about um, the Scratch program as soon as you uh, install the application software. First of all, it's actually, uh, Scratch is a, it's a programming language that was created for um, kids from six years old up to 16, okay? So that you have a, a basic background on how programming is. And if you're an adult and want to try it, you can also do that, okay? So you have a, 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 an understanding of how programming works. Now, you already know that um, before this cat can do anything, like before it can move, or before a sprite or a character, it's actually called a sprite, does anything we have to give it instructions and that's what programming is all about that's that's what coding is all about but um uh, so this is just to get to know some of the um the features of this program first of all this is what we call the st stage okay the white square box here is called a stage um and this is where you can delete the sprite because i'm going to delete the sprite right now and then go to this cat icon over here you can actually upload a sprite or a character if you want so just go ahead and click it and i'm going to look for a character that i like and that is pico walking so i'm just going to double click that and then you will see pico here now this is where you go to change the size of the um of the sprites for example you want it to small to be smaller you can just type that number 50 and then do that but it's too tiny so i'll just make mine maybe 80 all right and this is where you can decide to um make it disappear if you want to okay and this is this is x and y this is x and y axis like the position of where the, the position of um the the sprite and um okay this is a direction we'll talk about direction later all right so i want a background so i'm just going to go to this picture icon over here you can upload one from the internet if you want after you install it you can do that and then you can click on that and then choose from the many um backdrop that they have but i prefer blue sky so i'll just double click on that and i'll have that as my backdrop if you want to delete you can, or or change it just go there and then change it deleting i will show you guys another way of deleting this maybe later on in the video now when you click on this uh full screen um button it becomes like this so it makes it look like a real program okay and then click it again it becomes small so of course i've not given it any instructions so the first thing you need to do is just um look for the categories uh, on the the blocks that contains the instructions on the left hand side so they are categorized okay based on colors and based on what they're supposed to do so for example blue is more of motion so if you wanted to do something like move or something like that you go to the motion category all right so i'm going to click on move and drop it in the script area this is what we call the script area by the way so when you click on move can you see that it moved? Now, um, I don't think you even noticed the distance it, it, it took. Let me do that again. Can you see that? Now, I'm going to click on this and then change it to maybe 50 so that you will see the difference between 10 and, and 50 steps. So when I click it, 50 steps doesn't mean like it to, to, to walk 50 times. No, it's just the distance it will cover. All right, so click it. Can you see there's a difference? Can you see there's a difference between 10 and 50? So I'll just make this maybe 20. So that it won't be too uh, far away all right so that's just it but then it's it's actually a struggle clicking on the block all the time you know to make it walk right why can't we just automate it make it look like uh we, so we, i mean make it look like a real program where we don't have to be clicking it on it every time so what you need to do is just go to the control key um, category and then go to um repeat and put it there now i'm going to click on repeat and i want you to count as it moves okay that was so fast that was really fast we couldn't we couldn't count that so what we can do to slow it down is to is by going to this wait one second block inside the the control category and then we can make it you know walk uh sort of sorry we can count as it walks so i'm going to click on that and we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
all right so that's what it means so now this repeat is actually a loop it means it will go on and on and on until you make it stop all right we actually have the forever loop i prefer the forever loop okay now that you know how um how this one works i'm going to remove this by the way if you're going to separate blocks from a particular block uh, you can just go ahead and do this like that now if you want to delete a block you either right click and delete the block or you just click and drag it and move it to the left okay it deletes now i'm just going to remove this to like this and then take this one back there and then put forever here because i prefer forever i want it to keep moving forever until i click on this stop button okay now we also want a situation whereby i don't have to be clicking on for on this forever block to make it move all i need to do is just go to the events and then there's a, there are actually instructions there but i think i prefer to i prefer this one just this this blocks means this block means if this green flag is clicked then it should follow this it should it should obey these instructions okay so move 20 steps at a distance for one second and do it forever until i click on the stop button now wait one second is too too slow for me so i can click on one and then change it to zero maybe point two so right to be fast enough okay now let's play this and let's see how it goes so it's gonna go 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 it's gonna keep going but we can't see where pico is going so what we can do is that um we can say that when it reaches the edge of the of of this stage then it should go back all right to go back now so what we need to do is just go to motion then let's look for if on edge bounds and we'll put it there and then let's play it let's see what happens all right so it turns upside down i feel like there's a bug in this but then there's actually a solution to that all you need to do is just click on set rotation style and put it there and let's see if this will fix the problem so can you see now it has fixed the problem okay now uh so left to right so these are the instructions that we've put so far now we want a situation whereby it will actually look like it's walking so what we can do is go to the looks category and look for no 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 sorry um yeah uh, yeah looks category and look for next costume okay when you go to this costume tab over here, here you will see the many faces or um positions or the way it will look like by the time you click on this by the time it switches to its next costume okay so that if those are the four pictures it to switch to uh, as it moves on this stage all right so let's see what happens all right can you see now it's looking like it's walking you know smiling and oh now um we want a situation whereby as it moves let it change its color all right so what we can do is we can go to look still and then let's go to change color effect by 25 and then and also let's make it say hello as it moves uh, maybe hello by the way you can change this to whatever message you want okay so instead of saying hello we can say hi my name is pico you know how do you do it's more like that for two seconds all right so let's go ahead and click that all right and then continues working all right so but let's go ahead and remove this for now so that it will work yeah as it, so can you see it's changing its color as it's uh, as it walks now um i also want to put, um, put a sound if you want you can actually do that so go to sounds go to set, start uh, the pop sound so it's gonna keep making that noise because it's where it's in the forever uh, forever block okay and so let's let's stop, um, let me stop that all right so this is just a simple uh program that your child um or you can try out um you know after watching this video it's just a simple one all right guys this is just the first lesson see you in my next video all right bye